Hi, I'm Jordan. I'm from Burke, and I'm a sophomore. Words are hard. My poem is called One Minute. I can still remember the smell of Newports, the war of words raging constantly, the slamming of doors rattling the window panes, the flashing blue and red lights against the panels. I watched my home fade away in the back window of the car, the cheap one-story house with red glass trinkets adorning every room, the family I thought I had never to be seen again. In one minute, you took it all away. You took away the red glass trinkets that reminded me of home. You took away the warmth of your love. I didn't know what to do. One minute, I never saw it coming. If I could see the future, I would have put on my bulletproof vest and I would have braced myself for the impact of your gun. But I can't see the future no matter how hard I try. One minute, moms are meant to love you forever like the sun that will always bring light and warmth to the earth. The one person that never endangers your life. The best friend you never were. Someone who French braids your hair, reads Dr. Seuss with you at night, and calms you down when you have a nightmare. What went wrong? One minute turned into two years of bouncing between foster home to my grandparents' house to foster home, changing constantly, never staying in one place for long, not having the stability of a permanent family. One minute, like the dark side of the moon, you were nowhere to be found. You weren't there when I said my first words, when I learned how to ride a bike. You weren't there when I got my first crush, and you never went to any of my concerts. Where were you? One minute, small hands searching for pillars of unconditional love and support, the comfort of a nuclear family and a blanket of safety. But all my small hands could find was the coldness of an empty void. One minute. You left so fast, I forgot who you were. You were no longer my mom. You faded away like the sunset fading into the night. Only you didn't rise the next morning. For a shadow following me around, I was lost without you, wondering what if you had stayed. But you didn't stay, because you left in just one minute. Minutes turned to hours, hours turned into days, and days turned into weeks, weeks turned into years. After 14 years without you, I now have a loving family with a twin brother who loves to draw and is the smartest guy I know. We had to navigate the world without you, learning how to survive together. I have a beautiful mother who loves to write and makes tasty Italian dishes. I have a strong father who is a history buff and always makes sure my hands are warm. They taught me how to be a strong, independent person. In the end, I learned how to live without you, even though you left in just one minute.